everybody's doing really well today. So folks, I am back at it. I am back with another new releases video. Some of the books I have in this video have been released recently. Some uh, you can pre-order. And I'm so excited. There's a total of 10 and there's a nice collection of different artists and just different styles of books. And while chit-chatting to you, I will be coloring in my Nice Little Town Christmas Collection book. Yes, I know it's no longer Christmas season, but this is a picture that I started last month. I didn't get to finish it and I don't want it to be a work in progress for the next year. So this is what I have so far. My tripod is kind of close in, so it's hard for me to show everything, but that's what I have done so far. And I am knocking over my pencil sharpener, but I am so excited. There are so many great books. I have pre-ordered one. Do I want the other ones? Of course I do. I have added a couple of them to my official wish list because I do have a list of like newly released books that I just want to talk about and then there's a list of things that I would love to own. But without further ado, let's hop on in. So the first book I'll be talking about unfortunately can only be purchased in the EU right now and it is the new book by Hannah Carlson. You can pre-order a signed copy right now and I will link all of these books down below. So I'll link the Swedish book website, I don't know, publishing house where you can order it. I have ordered it and I'm so excited. It will be my first ever Hannah Carlson book and it will also be my first ever pub, um, signed book. So I'm super pumped. Again, you can only order it if the shipping is within the EU, which is unfortunate, but if you're in the EU, it's not. I'm sure it will be in the US, uh, maybe on Amazon or like Book Depository or one of those sites later on in the year. But as of right now, I believe the only place you can get is the website that I'll link below. And I got that website off of her Instagram page. So it's legitimate. It's not a scam. <laughs> it's the website where she told you to go. And the book is called, and excuse my Swedish, <laughs> Staden Blonde something. And uh, according to her, the translation is, let me see, uh, Tales from the City Among the Stars. And it looks really beautiful. You can see a couple of like sneaky peeky kind of views on her Instagram if you want. That's how I found out that she had released a new book. I just follow her on Instagram. And she always posts updates and she also posts updates of when some of her older books become available in certain countries. So I would highly recommend following her on Insta if you are a fan of her work. A, because you get to see the work and B, you're notified about releases, uh, publications, as well as some of her free pages. And just for kind of reference as to what in the world I'm doing, <laughs> I am trying to add more dimension to this uh, wood wall here. I am using a combination of Prismas as well as these upside down pencils, the gold Faber, Faber Castells. I'm just working with a couple different shades. I originally did the walls, so that was the first thing I did, and I have to say I'm not happy with the color. I think it's too red, which kind of doesn't let the ornaments pop as much as I would want them to, but it is what it is, so I'm just trying to work uh, with this wood accent wall, and yeah, so far I'm really liking it, but it's taking me quite a bit of time because I'm trying to add a little bit of detail and try to make it look kind of more realistic and I realize it's a mouse house so it's not really a realistic picture but still. <laughs> so this book, the Hannah Carlson one, is the only one that I'll be talking about that's not available on Amazon. So I'll also link the Amazon links for all the other books down below if you want to check them out. And the first book, well, I guess second in this video, but the first Amazon book is one that when I saw, I literally went, aww. And that, yes, that was a reenactment and that was a quote. <laughs> this book is just so precious. 
It's called Nice Little Town Valentine's Day by Tatiana Bogima Stolova. I'm coloring in one of her books right now. So obviously I like her work. And this book is so sweet. You can see a couple of the previews on the back. And I think I've also seen somebody already do a flip of it on uh, YouTube. So I'm sure you can find more of a preview but it just has the most adorable pictures. And I'm not the biggest like Valentine's Day fan. I don't know, I just have never been like crazy about it as a holiday. Maybe it's because I've been single for most of my life. That could be it. <laughs> uh, but I just have never been into Valentine's Day. But I feel like this book can be colored year round even though it's called Valentine's Day. It just has really cute mice like doing adorable little things. So year round, absolutely. It's super sweet. It was released January 3rd and it is currently priced at $6.59 and I do apologize that is in euros but it is single-sided per usual. Her books are Amazon printed so the paper is not the greatest do keep that in mind this is my first ever picture that i'm working on in one of her books so i have never used markers in these books and i don't know if her books are ideal for alcohol markers just because there is a lot of smaller details in here and i feel like uh, the bleed through or the you know the bleed outside the lines would be kind of hard to control. But with pencils, I, I really, really enjoy it. Moving on to a book that they haven't even released the cover of, but it's a new Kirby Rosanna's book and it's called Mythic World. Sorry, I'm forgetting I'm supposed to be coloring. Um, it's called Mythic World. And yeah, when you go on Amazon, you can't see the cover yet. So I don't know if they're just trying to drive up the mystery behind the book or if it's genuinely not decided yet. But this book will be released on March 29th of this year. So quite a bit away, but I feel like most people are familiar with Kirby's work and just have a ballpark idea of what to expect. The pre-order price, again in euros, is $12.19. And it says, welcome to Kirby's mythic world. There will be 96 double-sided pages of pure mythical creatures that colorists will love. Sounds wonderful to me. That's basically all the information that Amazon provides. Again, 96 double-sided pictures, or sorry, double-sided pages. Assuming the quality of the paper is going to be the same as his other books. It is a very nice thick paper and you can use water mediums in those books. I don't know if you can use alcohol marker without it bleeding through, probably not, but watercolor pencils, watercolor pencils, pastels, it takes very well. So I was excited to see this. I only have one of his books, one of the collections. I think it's, I think I have the Color Morphia one. I bought it while I was on vacation in the States this summer and I've only done one picture in there because those images take, you know, they're a co time commitment. But I will keep an eye on this one because his work is stunning and I would love to own more of his books. But frankly, as of right now, I can't really justify it considering I've only done one of his other images. So maybe in the future, but I'll for sure add this to my wish list, especially once more information is available. But if you're interested, maybe add it to your wish list so you can keep an eye on it. And again, that is Myst Mythic World, sorry, not Mystic, Mythic World by Kirby Rosanas, and it's released March 29th of 2022. Also, by the way, I keep on forgetting that it's 2022. I'm still writing 2021 on most things that I have to date. <laughs> so moving on to a book by Ava Brown, 
and this was actually released last year. It was released December 9th of 2021, and it's called Whimsical Beauties, a coloring book for adults and kids featuring whimsical fairies, elves, mermaids, and more. The current price is $7.48, again, euros. If you go on Amazon, you can see a couple of the previews and the back cover, which has nine different images from the book that you can see. And it does look very sweet. It's very magical, mythical, has really beautiful girls, a lot of fairy wings, angel wings. Um, there looks like there is mermaids. So I think it's very sweet. There's very minimal backgrounds. So if you're not a background kind of person, I feel like this would be a good book. And these books are Amazon printed, so keep that in mind for the paper qualities. Paper quality, excuse me. Um, there are 30 images. You do get doubles. And something that I think is cool about the Ava Brown books is that they also provide you with a digital copy. So technically, you have unlimited copies of the images. So if you work on one and you are not happy with the result, or you want to do it multiple times and try different methods, you know, and coloring skills and tricks, you would have the digital copy and you can just print them out for yourself. So really, really neat. And Ava Brown is a known brand at this point. So you know that you are supporting a legitimate business and not somebody who's ripping off artwork. And that is something that I always am cautious of when I, you know, do these videos. I'm not necessarily recommending these books, you know, because I haven't, I don't own them, but I do not want to talk about or promote sketchy businesses in any way. And Ava Brown is a legitimate printing company. So do check this book out. I think if you like what is that style? It's not chibi. There's chibi and there's a similar one. No, I can't remember the name. But it's really beautiful girls, like really big eyes and just mythical and magical and just absolutely adorable. This is a book that I ended up adding to my wish list. Oh, by the way, I also added, I don't know if you could tell, but the Valentine's Day one just because I think it's very sweet. And since it's, I know, I personally don't think it's very seasonal, I can easily pick it up later in the year when I feel it justified. But as of right now, I just can't, I can't justify buying another book since I have this honking big book. It's a collection, so there's, it's a big book. And this is my first and only page that I have done in here. And it's not even done. So I'm going to hold off on buying the Valentine's Day book. Sorry to be backtracking, but I have added it to the wish list. And I've also added this one. I honestly don't own anything like this book. So that's why I'm kind of curious about it because I enjoy trying different styles. And I think it also promotes uh, creativity in me to be kind of stepping out of my comfort zone and trying something new. So yeah, let's move on to the next book. That is a collection. It's four books in one and it's called Magic and Dark Fantasy. And it is by Selena Fennick. There are a hundred images and this was released December 8th of 2021. The current price is $18.92. And it con contains the following four books, um, Gothic Coloring Book, Night Magic Coloring Book, Dark Fantasy Coloring Book, and Wild Magic Coloring Book. So if those are books you've been kind of keeping on your radar or you're interested in, you know, you can always pick up this collection book. And I do love a good collection book, obviously as I'm coloring in one, because usually it's a better price than just buying all those books separately. Obviously, if you're only interested in one of those books that I just mentioned, maybe don't go for the collection. But if you've been wanting to try out multiple 
it's a great way or if you're just starting out and you kind of want to have a lot of images to experiment with there's a hundred pictures in this you are for sure gonna get something that you like <laughs> i mean the odds are in your favor sorry to quote uh the hunger games here or may the odds ever wait what is it may the odds be ever in your favor right is that the quote <laughs> but it looks nice i don't own anything by selena fennec but i do follow her on instagram because i love the things that she posts and her i think her artwork is stunning so again there are 100 images it is um sorry it is amazon printed there are no duplicates i think wait combination image but over no there's no duplicate pages um the images are single-sided and it says they're framed within the page so that's great and that's basically all the information that you get there's also a lot of mermaids fairies dragons unicorns goddesses gothic witches so there's a little bit of everything in here i know she also has grayscale books this is not this is a line art I'm not fully sure if she has created a similar collection book for her grayscale. I'm I don't know. I would think so, but please do not quote me on that. But yes, this book looks very nice and I think it would be a great place if you're a starter or if you just genuinely enjoy her books, you know, why not? But it is a nice one. I did not add this one to my wish list because I think if I am going to get any of her books, I think I will get a grayscale version just because I'm trying to work on my grayscale gray image skills and having maybe a book of 100 grayscale pictures would be a great place to start because if I, you know, mess one up or I'm just not happy with how it's going, I could just move on to one of the other 99. So I think I'm done with this wooden staircase. I quite like how it's looking. So I think from here I'm going to move on and maybe do the inside of the shelves here and here and then we'll go from there. The next book that I would like to talk about today is by Lulu Mayo another great great artist and she does the a million fill in the blank books <laughs> you know a million sloth a million unicorns and her newest book is called a million sweet things per usual and sticking to her usual style it is adorable it has a bunch of little critters eating little treats or just cute little desserts doing cute little things <laughs> if you enjoy coloring food especially again desserts i think this book would be fantastic it will be released on march 3rd of 2022 so unfortunately there's a bit of a wait but it is nine euros for the pre-order price it says perfect for coloring fans for with a sweet tooth Every page is brimming with cuteness from playful pasta pandas, oh my, <laughs> to chocolate sprinkled unicorns. In uh, Lula Mayo's magical world, cute koalas share a bathtub with happy ducks, asparagus giraffes, what in the world is an asparagus giraffe? <laughs> um, mixed with sleepy sloths and bunnies hop through bowls of delicious ice cream. Absolutely. There are kawaii kitten cakes, frog sailors, splashing narwhals, and even la ladybird musicians. So a little bit of everything. <laughs> um, there are 30 pages for you to color. And I don't own any of her books, but I've seen people, you know, work with them and flip, it, flip the images. And it, it appears that the paper is a little bit on the thicker side, so they're not Amazon printed. But they are double-sided so do keep that in mind um, that her images will be printed on both sides again the paper is thicker but i don't know if it can handle an alcohol marker base without bleed through not sure again don't own any 
but I've seen people use water-based mediums in those books and pencils, gel pens, and everything in between. And the pictures turned out super duper cute. They're very whimsical, they're very sweet. So I'm glad she's coming out with another book. They tend to be crowd favorites in the coloring community. I was considering getting the 100, is it Magical Animals? I think because I like the concept of that one having a comp like just different animals in there instead of just constantly coloring the same one. So I think if I were to pick up one of her books, that one would be it. But this one does look very, very sweet and adorable. And again, this is A Million Sweet Things by Louis Mayo. And it features an asparagus giraffe. Whatever in the world that is. I guess you might have to get the book to find out. <laughs> but it is featured in this one, which is great. And then moving on to the only Creative Haven um, book in this video, and it's called Plant Mom, and it is by Joe Taylor. It will be released on May 18th of 2022. Gosh, all these May releases, or actually I think the other ones were March. But anyways, May 18th, the pre-order price is $6.58, and it's all about plants as the title promises. So if you enjoy coloring plants and a lot of greenery, and there's also going to be uh, a good amount of like in-house scenes, I that, that didn't make sense. <laughs> um, so like interiors, that's a better way to describe it. There's gonna be a lot of interiors. So if you enjoy interiors and different plants and such things, then this would be a good book for you. A lot of greenery and yeah. Uh, in typical Creative Haven fashion, these books are single-sided. They are always perforated, so you can rip them out if you prefer. And the paper is nicer than just standard Amazon paper. And But I mean, since they're single-sided, you can use alcohol markers and not be concerned about anything. There are 39? original images in sorry 31 31 illustrations to color in this book no duplicates and i honestly feel like you can't go wrong with a creative haven book they tend to produce really nice books really good quality um, they work with great artists they also produce you know decent paper books well books with decent paper so it's nice that it's not they're really, really thin Amazon paper, and they're just great. The price is great, the books are always nice, and these are also tend to be easier access. You can probably also find these books in some of your local bookstores, um, or maybe even supermarkets, not supermarkets, like, uh, like Walmart Target might carry them. Uh, I know when I was in the States and I went by um, the gosh the walmart in my parents town they had a few creative haven books obviously not this one because it hasn't been released but they still had some of other ones so i enjoy these books because they are priced well the artists are wonderful and they tend to be easier to get your little hands on so yes that is plant mom by joe taylor and again it's released on May 18th of this year. And Joe Taylor has done other books with Creative Haven before. So maybe if you're a little bit on the fence about this book, check out some of his prior work, because I'm assuming there's flips on either the Amazon like review section, which I always check out to see if somebody had posted previews, or maybe check on YouTube to see for previews of other work by this artist. And then you can better gauge whether or not this art style and this artwork is something that you would want to invest your money and your time in. So, yeah. All right, those shelves are done. So we're gonna move on to these little guys here and also move on to the seventh book on this video. Seventh? I think seventh. <laughs> and it is by Patricia Hall and Deborah Muller. It's called Sleepy Animals and it's part of the Zandoodle Colorscapes collection. So I'm not familiar with Patricia Hall in full honesty, but I 
obviously know who Deborah Muller is. She produces a lot of wonderful books. And she has worked with Zen Doodle before. And I guess she's just continuing the collaboration. And this book it will be released on October 11th. So this is the farthest one ahead. <laughs> and the pre-order price is $13.01. From what I've heard, these books are usually also available at drugstores or like the superstores, like the Walmarts and the Targets. I don't know. I don't live in the US. But from what I've heard, these also tend to be easier to get your hands on. But again, it is available on Amazon and it is linked down below if you wanted to pre-order it. So let's see if there are any details. Um, there are no details on this book, which is wonderful. The only details you get is that the pre-order price is guaranteed. <laughs> and uh, the front just says sleepy animals, furry friends at rest to color and display. So it is not it is not a color by number because Deborah Muller does do some color by number uh, with Zen Doodle, but these bad boys are not. And the cover is really, really sweet. So assuming that the rest of it is in a similar style, it's going to be an adorable book. Unfortunately, you have to wait until the fall, but at least you can pre-order it and I don't wanna say forget about it, but you know, kind of be pleasantly surprised when it arrives at your door in October. I do that sometimes. I'll like pre-order something and then it arrives and I'm like, oh my gosh, like a gift from me to me. Is that a healthy shopping attitude? No, <laughs> but it is exciting for when that quote unquote gift arrives. But <laughs> moving on from my bad shopping habits, there is another Zen Doodle book. It is by Deborah Muller and Jeanette Wommel. Wommel? I don't know. It will be released December 13th. Wow, that's a long wait. Uh, 2022. Pre-order price is $13.45 and it's called Puppy Mischief. Adorable naughty puppies to color and display. Again, there is no description, but it has a really cute puppy on the front. And again, it's artwork by Deborah Muller, so her style is pretty consistent, so you know what to expect. And this is not color by number. So it will be quote unquote regular book. That's not a bad, that's not a good way of putting it, but basically you choose your own colors for that one. The next book is going to be released on July 26th of this year. And it is called Art of Coloring Hocus Pocus. The pre-order price is 16 euros. And it is based on Hocus Pocus the movie that has Sarah Jessica Parker. And um, I think, did it come out in the 90s originally? I don't know. All I know is that I love that movie. I used to be absolutely terrified by that movie when I was younger. The, the witches scared me. The little, like... It's not a mummy, what is he? Zombie fella really, really scared me. And then I also was really sad by the ending. So basically I was a mess when I watched this movie, but I did really enjoy it. So there is a coloring book again coming out this summer. And it says filled with witchy spellbinding imagery from the beloved film Hocus Pocus. This entry into the popular art of coloring series is the perfect adult coloring book for Halloween all year around. And it does come out plenty of time ahead of Halloween in July, but I think if you like that movie or just witchy, spooky kind of coloring, this would be fantastic. There are a hundred images um, to color, and let's see, if they are double-sided, which is not going to be the best, but that's fine. I don't know about the quality of the paper. I'm assuming it's not Amazon published or Amazon printed, sorry. So hopefully the paper is a nicer quality, but still it is going to be double-sided. So alcohol markers probably are not going to be your best friend in that book, but it's a fabulous movie. Um, even if you decide not to go for the book, but you don't know the movie, I would highly recommend checking out the movie. It's fantastic. It's sweet. It's family based and family oriented in the sense that, you know, it talks about like 
I don't know, families, family struggle, really um, sibling dynamics and such. So very sweet movie and scary. I mean, but I'm also a scaredy cat. <laughs> but the Art of Coloring series is quite well established. It's been around for a while. So again, you know that you are purchasing from a legitimate business organization and that you're not stealing somebody's work and that they collaborated with Disney. I think it's a Disney movie on this one. So you know that the artwork is going to be perfect. Well, hopefully, and represent the Sanderson sisters quite well. And moving on to the last book, it is another Zen, Zen Doodle coloring book. They just announced a bunch of releases on Amazon, so that's kind of why <laughs> I'm mentioning so many of them. Um, it is by Jeanette Wommel. Again, she was an artist that is working on another one of the books, I think the Naughty Puppy one, with Deborah Muller. So this book will be released, or has been released, I apologize, on January 11th of this year. And the price is $14.58, and it is called Panda Playtime, Cuddly Cuddle, Cuddly Cubs to Color and Display. I don't know why that was really difficult for me to say. <laughs> but it's a bunch of cute little bears. You can see a couple previews on Amazon, which is wonderful. It is Zen Doodly, but not the whole image. I have to say that uh, when it comes to like Zen Doodly pictures, these are actually quite quote unquote simple in the sense that they're not very overwhelming. The backgrounds um, are not crazy detailed and the Zen Doodly designs are not overwhelming at least in my humble opinion, but it's very sweet. I think if you like polar bears or panda bears, bears in general, this would be a cute one to check out. I I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of bears just because I come from living in Northern New England and we have the real deal sometimes digging through your trash bins and it can just get a little intimidating. And I realize that these are like imaginary and they're adorable but I wouldn't say that I'm drawn to bear coloring books just because bears are kind of you know a big thing where I come from and I don't imagine I don't immediately associate them with being adorable I associate them with uh, knocking your grill off of the back uh, off the back porch which is something that happened to my parents and our grill is still dented in the top from where it fell off the, what is it called? The deck and hit the ground and yeah. And the bear was like pawing at it and trying to get inside because I'm assuming it could smell the grease. But unfortunately the bear was not able to access the grill. So sorry, this is a sad story. The bear did not get to lick the grill. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching today. Again, I just talked about 10 different books. Everything is linked down below. I will also link this book here. I do really enjoy it. I'm really upset that I didn't get to color more images in here because I think it's a super sweet book. But as I've mentioned before, I got to travel over the holidays and I was spending a lot of time with my family and friends and uh, you know, showing my boyfriend around the area where I grew up. So I just didn't have that much time for coloring, but I will continue to color in this book throughout the year, even though it's not Christmas season, that's fine. So I would highly recommend this book. It's very sweet and it's adorable and I'll probably end up getting the Valentine's book just in full honesty, but for now, we'll just stick to coloring in this one. But thank you so, so much for watching and I will see everybody in the next one. Bye.